Okay, YouTubers, Mike's Appliance Repair has a short video for you. For anybody that may be having problems with their detergent, softener, flushing, but holding water at the end of the cycle. This container the main wash liquid detergent the blue cup will be full of clean water at the end of the wash cycle it's a pretty simple and easy fix many complaints would be at the end of the cycle this cup is half full or almost all the way full that it's not dumping all the water however it is true that it is normal for this cup not to completely empty there will always be a little bit of water but not much so I had a customer had this problem a couple days ago so I just thought I would post this in hopes that it may help someone else Okay, let's give you an example of what's going on. We're going to take the customer's old detergent cup and Okay, that's the customer's old detergent cup that does not work. So the washer will normally add water to it, but I'm going to manually add water. Normally there would be soap in this container, and as the washer adds water to it, it will slightly overfill, causing a siphon under the white piece. And as you can tell, it's siphoning water down into the washer, but it stops siphoning about halfway. Actually, that went a little bit more than halfway. So we're going to try this again. It's draining. We'll see how low it gets. So it's, it's draining a little less than half, but at my customer's house, it was actually retaining about half of its water. So most of the time you can just take that ex excess water, take it to the sink, dump it out. No big deal, even if you don't fix it. It's clean water. The detergent has already flushed through the system and you're left with clean water, so it's not a big deal. But uh, for the ones that really just don't like the water sitting in there, because you're gonna be adding detergent later, uh, the easy fix would be just to go and buy you another cup and the cup comes with this white piece it just slides there and the water fills up goes down this hole in between these the cup and this piece here it creates that siphon and normally all the water or most of it will drain out so we'll install the new cup 
add water let it overfill just a little bit gonna watch it drain siphon all the water's out within seconds try it again pretend like the washer's filling it with water flushing the detergent out creates a siphon the water drains or siphons into the washer and all the water is out within seconds so anybody out there with the problem of this cup retaining too much water my fix on this particular washer was to replace this container the container cost less than ten dollars google it online you'll have it in a couple days or go to your local part house and they will more than likely have to order it mine took one day to get in and it, again it was less than ten dollars customers very happy she has no water left in her container except for a very little amount which is normal per the manufacturer and that was a pretty simple quick easy fix and her washer was a LG and so is mine here it's an LG washer so once again real quick anybody that has a liquid detergent cup that retains water too much water in your opinion I would first try to clean these because sometimes they get pretty soapy take this out clean it real well the cup inside the tray if that don't work you definitely want to make sure your washer is level and then if all that is good and and you know you got good water flow coming in I would purchase this cup and as an example this particular washer the part number and the name it's called a box assembly detergent part number for the LG washer now this is just for my Pacific washer here that happened to be my customers washer so yours will have a probably a different part number but the same problem and the same fix so hopefully this video helps you Again, it's a real quick, easy fix, less than $10, and this container will quickly drain. Thank you, YouTube watchers. We will post another video soon online that may help someone. Thank you.